this is not a landfill. This was Versva Beach in Mumbai, India, a little over three years ago. It was covered in over 6,000 tons of trash. After what the United Nations called the world's largest beach cleanup, this is Versva Beach today. It was a movement started and led by one man, Afroz Shah. My name is Afro Shah, I'm a lawyer by profession, and I love oceans. In October of 2015, Versava Beach was little more than a dumping ground on the west coast of Mumbai. There were five and a half feet of plastic, and when you see so much plastic decomposed to the ocean, it's scary, it's very scary. We have devastated the health of our ocean. Garbage pile up either on land or in ocean is a big issue, not only in India, world over. So Afros took matters into his own hands. He started picking up the trash himself. I have spent uh, my childhood here, you know, I used to play here, and the beach used to be very, very clean. For me, it was purely simple. It had to be my personal journey. Then I told myself it would be difficult for a single man to do it, so I said, why not take this personal journey to others? I provoked others to join in, and eventually they did join in. Since 2015, every weekend, hundreds of volunteers join Afros to pick up the trash that has been strewn along a two-mile stretch of the beach. And the volunteer work continues today. We have been cleaning for past 112 weeks now, and it's almost uh, 9 million kgs of plastic and filth out from the ocean. Beach cleaning is one of the biggest like preventive action to prevent these plastic going into the deep sea. This is minimum we can do. Through the use of trucks, bulldozers, buckets, whatever people can use, the beach has slowly been picked up. But the issue is more than just the beach. It's about the mindset of people. So, apart from the beach cleanup, Afros also works with local communities to help educate them on recycling and proper trash disposal. We go to coastal communities where, you know, the littering happens, talking to them. I go to people's garbage. I tell them, show me. Then I tell them how to segregate, how to handle plastic. This is the first creek which is entering into the ocean from here. I'm proud that I'm connecting with people and I'm connecting with nature. That gets a very big sense of pride in my heart, you know. This problem of pollution is created by us. We have lost a sense of belonging to the, our planet and to our ocean. A lot of people ask me, Afros, how long are you going to clean? The day we say that this ocean is mine and it has to be spick and span, we will not ask this question. In fact, we will go and provoke others to do what I am doing. We are in for a long haul, and every citizen on this planet must be in for a long haul. Start doing your bit, what we are doing.